Hey everyone, oh, welcome back. So every year, uh, Puerto Rico's oldest non-profit organization, Pro Arte Musica, holds its annual concert showcasing the diffusion of chamber music. Due to COVID-19, the event has moved virtually for all to enjoy and will feature esteemed Latinx artists in concert. And joining us to tell us more, we welcome Pro Arte Musical Executive Director, Karen Schneck Malaret, along with Board VP, Ingrid Rivera, and violinist, Paula Lastra. Hello, ladies, and welcome. Hello. Hello, thank you so much for inviting us. Well, thank you for being here with us, a la remote. Um, I, I understand that uh, both you ladies are in Puerto Rico and Paula is in Indiana. Correct, yes. So we can open up with that being the upside to our circumstances, right? Because we're trying to shed light on, uh, well, everybody's uh, having no choice but to pivot. Um, Ingrid, could you share a little background on the organization and um, its history so that we can introduce it to our audience? Sure. Pro Arte Musical was established in 1932. So we're really the oldest cultural organization in Puerto Rico. I mean, we'll be 90 in two years. Um, we're very excited about that. Uh, and we are well known in bringing international musicians um, to Puerto Rico for Puerto Ricans to enjoy classical music, chamber music, and just wonderful quality music. Um, every year we have a temporada or a program where we bring um, guests from all over the world. And much more recently, we have also started to produce um, talent and shows that, that showcase our Puerto Rican talent. Um, um, show the, the best cuadristas playing and, and several other uh, talents that have uh, showcased their, their uh, talents mm -hmm. from the world. So um, we're just- And now you're definitely about. showcasing it to the world because- That's right, and, and now we are, since we, you know, we're speaking with you guys, we want everyone to know about the programs that we had and of course, I mean, Karen will, will share a little bit of, of what, what's happened, you know, since COVID. But, right. uh, uh, you know, we're very proud of how we've been able to, to maintain and to flourish uh, the opportunity for all Puerto Ricans to enjoy quality music. Yes, and, and thank you for bringing it here to our viewers. And um, Karen, if you can elaborate further on what this transition has been. I mean, um, you guys are, are, rather the organization is held in such high regards um, in presentation. And um, I can only imagine what that must feel like to experience live in concert and, and what that transition has been uh, converting it into a virtual concert. Uh, let tell us, uh, talk to us about uh, all of the challenges and or benefits? Well, actually it's been both, both challenges and benefits. Uh, we usually have concert season that extends from September, October through May, June. And we present seven, uh, seven to eight concerts, two of which are the new Virtuosi series. And that's where Paula is uh, going to be performing. So we usually end up by May, early June. This year, of course, uh, in this surreal world we're living in right now, we had, to, we had to decide whether we were going to accept the challenge or whether we're just going to, to you know, close or, or wait till this is all over. And we, ex we decided to accept the challenge, as most of us do. And we got in touch. We wanted to, do, we wanted to go virtual. We have several um, ma uh, uh, master classes on our page. Uh, and we started going virtual with them and it was a success. So then we said, let's finish our 1920 season at the beginning of our 2021 season and do it virtually. We were lucky enough to have the sponsorship of the Center for Performing Arts, Luisa Ferrer. They allowed us to use their stage. We had a wonderful production company, uh, young guys called La Vid. And they are simply marvelous, and their energy and their excitement and their excellence have been such a wonderful experience to, to work with. 
Um, and then we, we also, the platform we wanted to have was a local platform. So we went to Ticatera, uh, Manny Morales, and uh, actually Mirna, our, our uh, president, uh, challenged him and said, hey, you got a virtual platform for selling tickets. Let's produce concerts. And at the beginning, it was like, uh, well, what do we do? And he took the challenge, he opened up, started uh, looking for different options, and it was really a marvelous experience. It was sometimes a bit exhausting, but it was right. so, so, um, it, 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 was, it really filled the soul, you know, because we did it, we accepted the challenge, he accepted our challenge, uh, and we've expanded. Now it's right. no longer just a concert series in Puerto Rico. Now everyone can see the wonderful talent we have, the quality of our presentation, and you will see it with Paula Lastra. Paula well, you sound you sound super excited about the yeah, the, the yeah, chartering yeah. through through new waters. Just in the way you described exciting, it, it's a very exciting time for all of us. Next week we have Laura Pavon, who's also part of the new virtual size series. Uh, and then we'll have the Verona Quartet and the Kronos Quartet. Uh, they're both uh, absolutely marvelous quartets. And we're having a fundraiser with, for Antonio Barasorda, our tenor, our wonderful, wonderful tenor who passed away last year. And uh, it's going to be mind blowing. So, uh, and, so then, then, and then, of course, we have Paula. And then, of course, we have Paula. Right. Paula, who's here with us from Indiana, who normally wouldn't be performing in Indiana for a concert in Puerto Rico. Let's talk about what this has been for you. Correct. I was supposed to have this concert back in June, July at the la latest. And I'm so glad that Broad the musical decided to go virtual and still provide the opportunity for young musicians with which not often get this opportunity to perform all all the time, especially now during COVID times. So it is very exciting for me. It opens up the platform and it makes the audience much broader than what it would have been if I only did it back in Puerto Rico. So I'm very excited for the performance. Well, we're excited for you. And I just for clarity purposes, um, what's going to happen is she's going to be performing live in Indiana and then it's going to be present, no. It's going to be pre-recorded, and then you're going to sell tickets to this concert virtually. So it's going to have another layer added on to it, yes. correct? Correct, yes. It, the I concert was pre-recorded back uh, in July, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, now it's going to be streamed uh, September, tomorrow, September 26th at 7 p.m. Saturday, or Saturday night. Saturday, Saturday right. And uh, what's, what's exciting about how this whole program now, the Temporada um, 1920 that we're reinitiating, mm -hmm. is that we have, we have two local talents, like Paula and Laura. So jot down tomorrow the 26th, and next Saturday, October the 3rd, you'll be able to tune in and listen to amazing Puerto Rican talents. One, a violinist, virtuoso violinist, violinist and a charismatic <laughs> soprano. So we would love for all Puerto Ricans that are living in the mainland to connect to tiquetera.com and buy your pass to be able Beautiful. to support our Puerto Rican talent. Yeah, exactly, because it also, it also loans itself to the island's uh, financial um, fl yeah. fluidity as well, right? Yes, definitely. So we're, we're excited about how the, the um, season will, will, uh, will end, you know, this, this, this calendar year. And as, as Karen mentioned, you know, November 7th, we'll have the Verona Quartet which has also uh, prepared a very special performance for us. And the uh, Kronos Quartet, which also has a very special, exciting program, which includes uh, a talented young Puerto Rican who will also perform. So 
So these are the, the special surprises that are on hold. And uh, for all details and how to buy your pass, just, just visit our, our website, proartemusical.com. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Ingrid. Thank you, Paula. We look forward to these amazing concerts that are kicking off September 26. Once again, you guys, Pro Alta Musical Full Concert, it resumes September 26. And for tickets, you can visit ticketera.com. And for more information, you can visit proaltemusical.com. Yeah. Don't go anywhere because Bobby C's Weekly Sports Roundup is coming up next. <laughs> 